Previously on Sharpay, so <laughs> Did you want to say more? Alicia, I can explain. Things are over. I can't believe you lied to me. Out of a crime of passion, Jonah finally decides to kill Alexandria. After Alexandria's demise, Evan is distraught. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He didn't have time to explain to her before she died that he actually was a woman. I'm beginning my transition now. I hope you accept me for who I am. I can't believe it. After all this time, I was in love with a woman. Well, um, actually, um, I think you look great as a woman. And might I suggest that you dye your hair pink? Not sure where I'm going. Can't wait to find out. Don't worry, Evan. Jonah might be sure it's perfect, but I will always be here to support you. Might I suggest, my lady, that you change your name to Seraphine? Before the lore begins, I just want to say that I made enough money so everyone has their own bedroom. And I think I look kind of slayed, so yeah. Hello, world! I'm Seraphine, and you are beautiful! Making it up as a go. Ba -ba -da -bee -ba. I expect an encore. Oh my gosh, Seraphine, you're so hot. We have to do it now. Maybe. Oh my gosh. What's in your mouth? No. Well, I'm proud of us for trying. Little does Jonah know this was in his bed. Later that evening, Seraphine got a positive pregnancy test. Oh my science. This is horrible. I can't believe it's happening. This has to be some horrible twisted nightmare. Come on, there's room for everyone. So what you're saying is there's a chance that I might be the father. Maybe. I can't believe you, Seventeen. I'll beat that baby out of you if I have to. <laughs> Seventeen, will you make me the happiest ABC on earth and become my support? A duet? Heck yeah! Oh, jeez Louise, I love you so much, Seventeen. Oh. <laughs> my god, why is there vomit everywhere? You're seriously getting married to him? He might not even be the father. Now I'm really gonna beat the baby out of you. Bruh, not her wearing white to Seventeen's wedding. I now pronounce you ABC in support. May you never waste your heels, may you always peel for one another, and may you never roam. Then the ghost of Alexandria came back, and I didn't include this part, but Jonah just released her to the spirit world. After the wedding, Jonah picked up gardening, and he realized that he needed to forgive himself and Seven Fiend. On a more personal note, I discovered mods, so there's that. A bar was added to the house, and this might have been a grave mistake, as Seven Fiend became a raging alcoholic and henceforth gave her children fetal alcohol syndrome. Oh, think I got a beat! Woo, what a show! Come on, plenty of time for an encore! I only put down one bassinet because obviously I wasn't expecting twins, so the second one <laughs> spawned in Nathaniel's room. Alright, center stage. Jonah wanted to take care of these babies regardless of if they were his or not. Throughout all of this, Alex was an extremely absent father. That's it, Alex. You have been a horrible absent father throughout all of this. It's clear to me that you only love Sevenfiend, not Sevenfiend. He's right, Alex, and you know what? You go round me into being this picture that you wanted me to be. I am not Seraphine, I am Evan, and I am trying to figure out who I am throughout this whole transition. And you know what? You might not even be the father. And even if you were the father, I would still want Jonah to parent my children because you're a horrible father. 